Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have one of the only remaining stationery and paper goods boxes that I still have here on the channel. A lot has changed over the last five years between the kinds of boxes that I open here on the channel, of course the boxes that are no longer with us, uh, but this one has been pretty consistent for the past couple of years. It is of course the journal junk box. It has been sent to me for review and they just recently did a little refresh, a little make over rebranding which I think is really fun so you always get this cute little box it is $52.99 per month there are some deals if you're able to do a multi-month subscription right up front I do have a code for you it's hi Noel like the name of my channel and that'll save you 15% I will include that information for you in the description box below but let's go ahead and see what we have got for the month of August now some of you know I have been traveling so I pre-taped a lot of these videos so I actually got a lot of the boxes that you're seeing a couple of weeks ahead also I've only been posting every other day for July and August just to give us all a little bit of a breather and just kind of uh, slowly ramp up into the fall months which is when you guys get a lot of unboxing videos from yours truly which is kind of crazy because I should do it the other way around because these are the times when I have longer days and a little bit more daylight to do my filming and do my photography but we also want to enjoy the summer right so inside we have our journal prompt card as well as our product list and I love that she includes the retail values as well as journal prompts. This is really a journaling box more than just a stuff box like the stuff is really meant to help stoke your creativity and uh sort of guide you into the world of journaling, make it sort of aesthetic, but also a joy, a craft, something that really is something you can look back on and reflect on what you've been doing. Could be your day planner, could be like really like long, deep thoughts that you write in a nice journal, but whatever it is, I think it is a good thing to sort of encourage in our lives. So if you needed any justification for spending some money on yourself to make your journals and day planners look pretty, this is it. All right, so our theme for the month of August is literary escapes, which as a former English major, you know I love. Let's see what some of our journal prompts are. Write about a book that has deeply inspired you and why. Let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite book. I would love to hear from you. People ask me that all the time as someone who was a English and literature major. I can't tell you like a favorite book, honestly. Like I know a lot of people will say The Alchemist or what have you, but I mean, I just think of childhood books. Um, oh, I did love Anna Karenina actually, but I always think of childhood books in terms of like, you know, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, those kinds of books. Like, I, I loved reading those like multiple times. Anyway, let's see. On the other side, it tells us what's in the box. And this new feature that they've been doing for the last few months, I love the journaling tips where they tell us how to use some of the products that come in the box. This time, it's how to use ephemera pieces, which are these really pretty little like die cut uh, pieces. Uh, images, I guess, like graphic art that you can put into your journals. So it says using ephemera pieces can help you create a beautiful journal spread to express your unique creativity. So you lay out the pieces on a flat surface and arrange them in a sequence that tells a story or follows a theme. And then you can kind of use the pieces as a storyboard for your journal spread. I love that idea. As you stick each piece onto your journal page, write short notes next to them, explain why each piece is important, what memories it brings back or how it makes you feel. You can also write some reflection that ties all the pieces together. This could be a story, a detailed memory, or just your thoughts as they flow from one piece to the next. Use doodles or different writing styles to complete your journal spread. So um, I think a lot of people use like glue dots to attach the ephemera if they're not already stickers. So I think that is a good trick because sometimes they have like clear edges. But I love the idea of the ephemera sort of not only illustrating your thoughts and ideas and your journaling, but maybe even inspiring them, right? Okay, so I'm going to prop up the product card in front of me so that I can take a look. They always include a quote card that now they're building in-house for us. So it says, I choose to embrace positivity and gratitude, allowing my inner light to shine brightly. So that is a nice little quote card to have. And of course, we have a nice library there. I feel like a shift into the fall colors, even though I'm still in the midst of August. So, but I, of course, I, I would love to have a house one day, uh, well, I would love to have a house in general, but I would love to have a house one day where I can have like entire walls that are bookshelves like that. That would be amazing, right? That's a dream. And then once we get past all of that on top, we do have the cute uh, polka dot tissue paper. That is something that has kind of remained the same. 
so let me go ahead and get into this. All right, so not just journaling and paper good products in the journal junk box we also get some lovely lifestyle items even some home goods this time around we got a nice tote and i do think that this is a like nice quality it's a thick canvas let's see what it says a new day filled with gratitude and we have this nice image of some flowers on some books but i'll show you it got a little you know crinkled in transit of course but it is that nice thicker material doesn't have a gusset on the bottom it's just kind of like your typical tote bag book bag but great for taking your books back and forth but also great for travel when you might just need a little bit more space so let's see what it says about this one if i can find it grateful beginnings tote bag by journal junk so they have uh, worked with some collaborated with some artists to get these images and then they have created uh this bag it is a value of 22 dollars so let me put that off to the side. It's going to need a little iron, but it does look like it's good quality screen printing. Like you can see that it's really embedded into the material, not necessarily woven in there, but it doesn't have that like shiny texture. Like sometimes you can tell when they've just sort of screen printed or ironed on something and it's going to peel off. That's not the case with this. So I think I'm safe uh, maybe putting a cloth over it and giving it a little iron so it looks nice and pristine. So I'll be doing that uh, when I get home from my trip so I can take some photos for you over on Instagram. And I'm hoping hoping you guys I mean I again I'm pre-taping this but I am really hoping that by the time I get home Instagram has figured out its situation and uh, starts working properly for me I I keep having to find new workarounds to post uh, my product photography pictures and then it'll go through an update and all of a sudden I can't use that those workarounds and I have to find another one and some of them are really lengthy uh, compared to what I used to be able to do on Instagram in terms of editing and posting photos so now I'm having to do I'm having to do a lot of extra work and it's no fun. What are these? They look like uh, sticks of chalk almost, but they're pens, I believe. I think this is a highlighter set. So we got six different colors. Let me see if I can pull these out for you. These are fun colors if they are indeed highlighters. Kind of got a lot of pink, um, which I don't mind, but if they are sort of this muted palette, that's kind of fun, right? And they just, I love how they sort of stack together. So. Let me see. I'll open one up and see if it is indeed a highlighter. I'm going to go with the blue one. It is. So great, of course, for those of you who like to take copious notes as you read or you like to highlight passages and quotes that you get in your uh, books. So, or if you're reading like a self-help book or history books, for example, sometimes highlighters are nice. And I like, again, these a little bit more muted tones. Um, maybe the ink might not be quite as muted. This one might be really good. You can see like the ink looks a little bit darker than the, the container that it's in, right? Instead of the, the chassis of the pen, I guess. Uh, but they do look like a little like mellower than your traditional bright yellow highlighter, right? I saw a lady the other day and, uh, she was wearing, I mean, it was like a highlighter yellow sweatshirt. And I was like, wow, that's, that's some confidence there. I love it. Uh, all right. So here is our journal junk branded ephemera adhesive. We love that adhesive ephemera collection. So it says bookish tales and we got 50 pieces in here. So, wow, that is really going to give you a lot of opportunities to use these and they're in varying sizes. Let me see if I can pull these out. I do have fun even when I'm doing my photography, uh, just sort of arranging them into different patterns and things. Usually I have a little bit more space though, of course, than uh, when I'm doing an actual journal. But I do like to put things like this uh, into my day planner because as you know, I'm not like the best about journaling. But see, we have a lot of like words to inspire you uh, as well as items of ephemera that are just, uh, that are just you know, packages and books. And then we do have some that are just smaller and like little banners. Like this one actually says voracious. I always love the idea of being a voracious reader. Uh, bibliophile, some really fun ones and some really pretty ones, but also all in this sort of antiqued tone says the best way to predict the future is to create it. Ooh, that's pretty inspirational. So yes, I think that you could definitely have a nice, um, I don't know, how do you store your ephemera if you're someone who has a lot of it? Do you sort of categorize it in like a file folder so that you have all oh, these are my bookish ones or these are my bright colored ones or these are my beachy, you know, summer seasonal ones? But these are nice and they do feel like I think there's I think they're basically stickers so they are adhesive so that you can use them which I definitely prefer versus having to get super duper crafty in terms of 
finding the glue dots and all of that. These are always so hard to start though. So if you have a trick for how to start your stickers, how to, you know, I have nice uh, pointy nails, but sometimes it still doesn't work. Sometimes I can use like an X-Acto knife to kind of find the thickness, but you want to use one of the ceramic ones so that you don't uh, so that you don't hurt yourself. But yes, they just do feel thick enough that they are um, probably stickers. And also they, they told us they're adhesive. So you can see I was able to kind of go ahead and use my knife to uh, get that started without pulling it up too much on the edge. All right, what else do we have? So the ephemera, by the way, has a value of $10.99. And our highlighter set had a value of, let's see, $6.99. All right more uh so you can see this is it's really nice because now that they are able to do a lot more of their in-house journal junk branded items you can really feel each box feel like a real collection right so we have more of that antique style this is literary gems oh this is an actual sticker collection so you can add this to your designs let's see so these ones it looks like oh i love this style so i think we just got i think we might have gotten two sheets let's see yeah we got two sheets this is what i'm used to sometimes ephemera comes like this where it's kind of on this um plastic and it's a little bit harder to attach neatly without showing how you've uh, put it on there so let's see this it says they're stickers but wow they are like really laser cut so that i can't see where they start but when i hold them up to the light i can actually see that they're stickers these are lovely though i really dig those i can't wait to put those into my day planner you guys i so here's the thing i love a good fresh day planner for the year i know that it is still only august but i already ordered a day planner for next year it might not be the one that i use in fact i often will get multiple day planners started for the same year and i will inevitably like make mistakes in one or change a lot of things or find a better layout and then i start another one so i have been very good though i did not buy myself an academic planner for 2024 2025 i said you know what you need to wait until 2025 but i've already gotten my first one so to me, it is such a calming thing to do. If I have a lazy afternoon, especially as the weather does get cooler and I wanna be indoors and sipping my tea, I love starting to input items into a brand new fresh day planner and sort of design the pages with these pretty stickers, right? These are great. I love the clear background. I think that's really neat. Those ones, of course, I wouldn't be using to cover up my mistakes, which is what I often do with other stickers like this that are solid. I will definitely, you know, when things get rescheduled or I just crossed something out and I could have done it a little more neatly, I will go and find and see like, hmm, do I have a sticker that's sort of related to what's going on in my life for the season? And then I can just plop that right over that mistake because I know I could write in pencil, but I don't. I like to use a nice inky pen. All right. Ooh, this is kind of fun. We got a bookmark, but it came like in a bookmark sleeve, I guess, that you could use. I don't know why you would need it in this nice little sleeve, but here it is. You can obviously take it out and replace it if you want. This is, oh, our stickers, by the way, had a value of, let's find out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think they had, oh, Literary Gem Sticker Collection, value of $8.99, and we did get the two sheets. And then here is our bookmark, Blossoming Dreams, also by Journal Junk, uh, value of $5.99 because it does have this nice uh, thick plastic sleeve. So I'm looking at it, and it looks like one, maybe only two, two or three items, like the pens and the highlighters this time around are non-journal junk items, again, to create that cohesive vibe. Here are the pens. I know some of you swear by the pens that Journal Junk gets for us. Absolutely love them. And uh, I, I'm not, I am a pen person. I'm very picky about the kind of ink and pen tip that I use. But I also just kind of get into the habit of like always using the same brand and style. These are really cute though. So we've got two of them. Nice fun clicker pens has that sort of antique vibe to it. So these are, you know, these are definitely from another brand. A Journal Junk Box isn't making their own pens yet. It could happen, it could happen. So nice fun clicker pens for writing. All right, 
Oh, I love these. We've gotten these before. I always think they're such a great thing to have around, which is one of these cute tea greeting cards from Stash Tea. Uh, so let's see. The pen set, by the way, the Vintage Rose pen set had a value of $9.99, so basically $5 per pen. And then we have these nice greeting cards. These are so good to have. So books and tea note card with a bag of tea, with a little tea sachet. Isn't that cute how it's just, uh, let's see, I'll show you how they've just slipped it in there. That's such a great card because it includes a gift. Uh, this is from the Creative Idea Shop and this has a value of $5.40. So that's really good deal, I think, because greeting cards are about $5 or more these days. It says there's always time for a book and a cup of tea, um, but then you get a nice cup of tea along with it. So I think anyone would appreciate receiving that. This is a nice notepad. So we used to have another sort of um, paper goods, personalized stationery subscription. They are no longer uh, doing their notepads, but I used to always have a ton of notepads. And so now I've kind of worked through most of those and I'm in dire need. So I'm very happy that Journal Jump Box is starting to do their own. And I also like that it was just simple and just says notes. Um, it does say Journal Junk branded on the bottom, just to remind you where it came from. This, of course, matches some of the stickers and things that we've gotten. In fact, you could probably even, like, if you wanted to, like, take one of these pages and just plaster it into your day planner or your journal. But if you can kind of see, there's sort of a nice watermark image behind this as well. Can you see that? So it's not just plain white, and of course they're all the same, but there are some vintage flowers and items here in the background of the main part. So books and flowers essentially but the books that are stacked almost create like sort of guidelines for writing a nice straight line uh the uh tablet right here the notepad has a value of i will find it eventually hmm i don't see it quite yet i will find it though i don't see it on here honestly i'll go through it at the very end but we are finishing up with our journal because of course there's always a journal and a writing utensil in the journal junk box this is kind of fun because they've been doing a lot of their own spiral notebooks which you know is my preference because as a recovering perfectionist i do like to be able to rip out a page um, but i i don't recall them doing a lot of their own bound journals uh, this might be one of the first ones, but it is a good effort. So as you can see, everything kind of matching in style, right? So we have all the matching things. It says, a new day filled with gratitude. Now, I personally like just images on my notebooks versus having quotes or anything, just because it gives you a little bit more leeway in terms of what you put inside. But I mean, a good gratitude message. You can't go wrong with that. Grateful Beginnings hardcover by Journal Jump Box. This has a value of $18.99. Of course, this is where I like the branding, just kind of on the back where it would be with any stationary company. Uh, it looks like we do have a nice, wow, they did a great job with this. So lined pages, we do have this rubber band closure or elastic closure. Let's see if there's anything on the inside. So super plain and white on the inside, but it seems like great quality. And I like that they have printed it both uh, along the binding and then just done like a nice cover wrap on that. So here we go. I'm not sure how many pages it is. I'm not sure if it says somewhere, but we'll probably get used to this style from Journal Junk Box as they continue to build and create their brand and give us these curated boxes. So Grateful for Beginnings November hardcover journal by Journal Junk Box. We got our rose, uh, vintage rose pen set, of course. Our very cute books and tea note card with tea bag. Our highlighter set, I just kind of love how like square and modern feeling these are. Our Bookish Tales Adhesive Ephemera Collection, which you guys is just sitting here in a pile, but uh, I have to I have to work through all of these fun items, but we got 50 pieces in that ephemera collection. That's why I haven't uh, shown you every single one. Our Literary Gems sticker collection. I think this might be my favorite item this time around, uh, which is rare for me to say that the stickers are my favorite, but these just seem like a lot of things that uh, and the right size for me to actually use them in my day planner. So I love that. And they do have fall vibes, so they might go in this year's day planner. I don't think I can wait until the 2025 one to use these. 
Let's see. Uh, we also have our Blossoming Dreams bookmark. We showed you this guy with the nice silky tassel and our Grateful Beginnings tote bag. So I think that we actually missing from the list is this nice notepad. I don't know if it's like a free extra gift or just might have missed the list, but that would mean that we have a total of nine items in this box. So you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite book is, like I said, and um, what you like to do with items like this in your journal junk box. Are you someone who likes to get ready for a new year? I know it's still August, but you know, we're always planning way ahead. So I have to be able to start inputting something into January. Uh, thanks so much for watching my video. I really, really appreciate your support. You guys, let's actually have, should we have a secret password? Well, let's have a secret password just because why not? Let's have it be magic. I bet you thought it was going to be books, but it's going to be magic. So when you come across a secret password, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. Please don't put it into the comments. You do have to be 18 years or older. You do have to have a Canadian or US mailing address, and you do have to be subscribed to my channel. And then it's, we're almost coming to the end of our two month uh, giveaway. Uh, so it, that means that about five days into September, I will close the entry form. I will use a random number picker. I will select a few winners to receive mystery boxes as my way of saying thank you for watching my videos. But today's secret password is magic. I'll see you soon. Oh, just as a reminder, it's not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that open here on the channel. That was my disclaimer. <laughs> see you soon.